Twas mid-December and everyone at Inner Space was a buzz. At least almost everyone was, but not quite everyone because, while two Inner Space hosts were full of Christmas spirit, that Grinchy co-host AJ wouldn't even go near it. He didn't care for Christmas or Christmas stuff, but don't ask him why or he'll huff and he'll puff. Religion, consumerism, and idol-adoring iconography don't offer substance or meaning for someone like me. He does not celebrate, decorate, or gyrate. He does not participate or reciprocate or even so much as masticate. No Christmas cake, candy canes, cookies, or milk. No Christmas sweaters, fascinators, or scarves made of silk. Alone at home by his fireplace free of oversized stockings, reading the words of Hitchens and Dawkins, AJ was caught off guard by some visitors at the door, who knocked once, twice, and then knocked some more. Upon opening his doorway, much to his dismay, there was a giant sleigh in his driveway. We've come to bring tidings of comfort and joy. To lift your spirits, surely not to annoy. Please join us, AJ. We're not here to shun. You're a part of our team, so join in our Christmas fun. He could tell they meant well and thought not to rebel, but well, he thought, I ought dispel their mistaken intel. I don't need Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, or any occasion to welcome a welcomed well-meaning invasion. And though I may disagree with your festivity, it should not make me an enemy. Can you not see our differences give strength to our unity? If you can accept this sanctimonious secular logician, then come on in, and we'll start our own tradition. Teddy and Morgan considered what they'd heard. It made sense from the first to the very last word. You're astute with your logic, it can't be denied. We're a team, us three, so let's get inside. And with that, they ran up and right past their host, and grabbed a bottle of bubbles with which to toast. To friendship, to love, to understanding and the season, to all geeks who are celebrating, for whatever the reason.